You have been prescribed a statin, and you likely have some questions. This educational video will help you understand what statins are, what they do, why you've been started on one, and how a statin will help you. We will also look at how this therapy is monitored. You will learn how to recognize and deal with side effects should they occur. Also, you will learn if other medications or supplements can affect your statin. Finally, you will learn how and when to take your statin and what to do if you miss a dose. Let's get started. Cholesterol is a soft, waxy material that is a necessary part of every cell wall in our body. Cholesterol is also used in the body to make certain hormones, to produce vitamin D, as well as a substance called bile that helps digest food. So the body needs cholesterol. Although you can get cholesterol from foods such as eggs, meats, and dairy products, your liver is able to make all of the cholesterol that your body needs. However, too much cholesterol in the wrong areas can cause problems. Often, there are no symptoms specifically linked to high cholesterol. So it is very possible to have high cholesterol and not know it. In certain people, cholesterol can build up within the blood vessel walls, causing them to harden and narrow. This buildup of cholesterol is called plaque, and it often happens over a long time in a condition known as atherosclerosis. Many people do not become aware of this condition until there are significant blockages. Not only can cholesterol plaques get bigger over time, but they can also potentially break open in the vessel wall, exposing their contents to the bloodstream. Your body perceives this break like a cut and will form a blood clot within the vessel that could block the flow of blood. When an artery that supplies blood to the brain develops plaque, there is an increased risk for stroke. This is because a clot or part of the fatty plaque could break free and clog the smaller blood vessels of the brain. A heart attack can happen when a blood vessel that supplies blood to the heart muscle, known as a coronary artery, becomes blocked. Cholesterol is mainly transported around the body in the form of two types of particles. The first is low-density lipoprotein, or LDL. LDL is sometimes called the bad cholesterol because it delivers cholesterol around the body where it could build up in arteries and contribute to heart disease. The other type is high-density lipoprotein, or HDL, which is considered good cholesterol because it transports excess cholesterol from the bloodstream to the liver, where it can be broken down. If you do have high LDL cholesterol, your care provider will likely recommend lifestyle modifications, such as a healthy diet, quitting smoking, and exercising more. Statins block a special protein that your liver needs to make LDL cholesterol. This will lower your LDL level. While there are other medications that can also decrease LDL cholesterol, Statins have the best evidence for lowering the risk of having a heart attack. They will also reduce the risk of stroke. Although statins reduce the LDL cholesterol made by the liver, they do not affect the cholesterol consumed in our diet. Therefore, an essential part of controlling cholesterol is to eat a sensible diet. Speak to your dietitian to discuss effective ways to lower cholesterol with healthy nutrition. Some of the more common medications in this drug class are shown here. You may have noticed that this class of cholesterol-lowering medications uses a name that ends in statin. These are the common or generic names for statins. You may also know your medication by its brand name, shown here in brackets. If you are dependent upon Fair Pharmacare for income-based drug coverage, then it is important to know that only a few statins are fully covered. Speak to your prescriber, pharmacist, or social worker if you have concerns about medication costs.
you may be taking a statin for the following reasons. To treat high cholesterol, after a heart attack or stroke, or if you have been diagnosed with significant plaque. The goal is to avoid a first heart attack or stroke. In addition to a high LDL or bad cholesterol level, your care provider may review your personal risk factors for heart disease to help determine if a statin prescription is right for you. Some of these additional risk factors include a low HDL or a good cholesterol level, diabetes, high blood pressure, and a close family history of heart disease. If you have already had a heart attack or have proven severe plaque issues, then the aim is to prevent future major heart problems. Statins lower LDL cholesterol levels, which can limit plaque buildup. They may also help stabilize existing plaque inside arteries, which could reduce the risk for heart attacks. Whenever significant plaque is found, statins are routinely prescribed in higher doses, which helps give the best protection against future heart problems. In these cases, statins are still used even if your cholesterol level appears normal. Several research studies have shown that statins are effective in preventing heart attacks and prolonging life. So even if you feel no different when taking a statin, you need to understand that they are doing an important job. You may have heard that grapefruit and grapefruit juice can affect the blood levels of several drugs, which can put you at higher risk for having side effects. There are three statins affected by this interaction. Drinking grapefruit juice or eating grapefruit should be avoided if you have been prescribed atorvastatin, simvastatin, or lovastatin. Never take extra medication or double up to make up for a missed dose. If it is almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and resume your regular schedule. In most cases, you will need to remain on a statin. There is no cure for heart disease affected by high cholesterol. Rather, statin drugs will work continuously over the years to protect against future heart attacks and strokes. If you stop your statin medication, then your risk for worsening heart disease will go up. Before starting statin therapy, your care provider will want to check your cholesterol levels. These levels may be checked occasionally thereafter to see if the amount of cholesterol in your blood is reducing enough. Check with your care provider if you need to fast prior to your cholesterol test. Sometimes your care provider may order a blood test to make sure that your liver is working well. This is often done before starting a statin medication or shortly afterwards. Unfortunately, there is no way to know if someone has plaque issues just by looking at the cholesterol level. While people with high cholesterol are more likely to have plaque buildup, it can sometimes form even when the cholesterol level appears normal. So if you have had proven plaque issues, either following a heart attack or if you needed stents, your cholesterol level, no matter what it is, is too high for you and studies have shown that you would benefit from statin therapy. Many people take statin drugs, and most do not experience side effects. Minor side effects may include headache or stomach upset. If you have stomach problems, then you can try taking your statin with food. Let your care provider know if you develop new persistent muscle aches or cramps in your arms and legs, as certain blood tests may be ordered to see if the statin medication is affecting your muscles. These problems, seen in less than 10 out of every 100 people, could happen soon after starting a statin or many months later after regular use. Often these aches affect both sides of the body and most commonly the larger muscles of the arms or legs. The pain may only be a mild discomfort or in some cases it may be severe enough to impair your daily activities. 
It is important to know that these muscle aches, if they occur, are almost always reversible if the statin is stopped. However, you should not stop your medication by yourself. Rather, notify your care provider. If they determine that the muscle pain is being caused by your medication, they may temporarily stop your drug. Once your muscle aches have improved, this problem can usually be managed by lowering the dose or changing to a different statin. As with most medications, there could be important interactions with other products that your care provider should be aware of. Speak to your pharmacist about using the following products with statins. Other medicines used to lower cholesterol, such as niacin. Herbal remedies, such as St. John's wort. Sometimes people have used supplements like coenzyme Q10 to prevent muscle aches when taking a statin medicine. Speak with your care provider first, as options like coenzyme Q10 are often expensive and probably not useful. Ensure you carry an up-to-date list of medications, including supplements and other natural health products. Your care provider or pharmacist can review your list for other possible interactions. This does not always mean that interacting drugs cannot be taken together. Rather, discuss all this with your care provider as they may want to monitor your therapy more closely or adjust doses accordingly. Other adverse effects may occasionally occur. Speak to your pharmacist or care provider if you have concerns. Statins lower your risk of heart attack, stroke, and other health problems. This is true even for people with normal cholesterol levels if you have proven plaque issues. Once you start taking a statin, you'll need to keep taking it to keep those benefits. Even though you are taking a cholesterol-lowering medicine, it is important to keep up with lifestyle changes such as eating a healthy diet and trying to include physical activity in your daily routine. Remember that the risk of very serious side effects from statins is quite low. Let your prescriber or pharmacist know if you suspect that you are experiencing a side effect from your medication, such as muscle aches. Even if these effects are frustrating, don't stop taking your medication without speaking to your care provider first.